Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a basic round system. You know, pretty much it counts down from like, let's say 10 seconds. And then when it reaches zero, the round will start. It'll reset every, it'll reset the player's health. So it'll respawn, let me phrase, it'll respawn the players. So one, they're at their spawn point. Two, everybody has full health. And then it'll start a clock, it'll start the clock. So then people have time to do whatever it is in your game. Like I'm assuming your game is like a combat game. So they have time to kill each other and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First things first, of course, you're gonna need to make a, you know, um, GUI, the UI aspect first. So let's head on over to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI. We could call this mm, round GUI. And then let's insert a text label. Now on the round GUI, I want you to disable reset on spawn and enable ignore GUI nil set. The only reason I want you to disable, the only reason I want you to disable, uh, I mean, sorry, the only reason I want you to enable ignore GUI nil set is just so we can have it here at the top. And then reset on spawn because we don't want the UI itself resetting when a player, you know, dies or anything. We just want it to just stay the same unless we change it via a script. Then we can go ahead and name the text label round text label, right? Um, we can make the background transparent. All we really need is the text. So make the background color transparent. Make the text bold, rich text, scale the text. We don't need no default text. We'll set the text via the script and boom, we're done. Let's go ahead and insert a server script into server script service. And we can name this round handler script. Then we can delete print hello world. We're gonna to need to make one variable before we get into the function. We're gonna say local round started, and by default, we're gonna set its value equal to false. Because if the value is equal to false, then we want to start the round. Pretty much is like say if the server, say if the server was just created, right? Um obviously no round will have started since the server was just created and a player just joined. But since the round hasn't started, it will then trigger a round to start, and vice versa. So we will then use an if statement. I'm sorry, we're gonna use the function then an if statement. So game dot players dot player added connect function and parentheses put plr which is short for player. Then we're gonna say if round started is equal to false, enter, or you could just say then, then go to the next line. But yeah. Then we're gonna of course set the value round started is equal to true, because the round has begun. Then we're going to make a variable for the round GY. So we're gonna do local round GUI is equal to player dot player GUI wait for child round GUI because of course we need to wait for the round GUI to make sure it has loaded in because you know the player's character will load in before the UI will load in especially depending on how much UI you have. But yeah, we will then use a for I loop to do the initial countdown just so people are like, okay, the game's about to start, so I know how much time I have until you know the round starts. So we'll say ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds is good. You guys can change. You guys can change the the numbers to whatever you want so if you want it to be longer shorter whatever you guys can change anything so yeah for i equals 10 comma zero negative one of oh, negative one enter and then we're going to say round gy dot round text label dot text is equal to quotation marks round starts in let's put colon and then space and dot dot i because this is this is in seconds so yeah just to explain how this works this is the starting value this is the number that the countdown will start at right so we're going to start at 10 and then we're going to go downward because you know minus one so we're going to keep going down by one this is the change then this is the final value so zero this is like your you can say your you can say this is your starting point this is your end point and then this is the change Right, and then all we need to do now is add a wait one because we know we want this in intervals of one second. We want it to go down by one every one second. All right, then we can go on the outside of the loop. Press enter. Skip skip a couple lines. Then we're going to reset the player's health once the countdown is complete. So player dot character dot humanoid dot health is equal to zero. By killing the player, we'll ensure that the player one has max health. And two, they'll be they'll respawn back at their um spawn location stuff because I'm assuming your game has teams or something. Well, I guess if it was a free for free for all game, but the point is it'll respawn the players at their uh spawn locations, so then the game can properly start without people just starting to kill each other and then they're sitting right next to each other. 
So then we're going to make about, oh, didn't mean to do that. We're going to make about three variables. So let's skip a couple lines and let's say local round time is equal to 180. So I just want to remind you guys, the numbers are in seconds. So this is 180 seconds, which 60 seconds in a minute means this is approximately three minutes. So if you want your round to be, you know, five minutes, then you simply would do five times 60, right? And you put that value here. If you want your round to be one minute long, then you just put 60 instead of 180, right? It's that simple. Then onto the next variable, seconds. So seconds is equal to 60. You don't need to change anything about seconds because seconds, regardless, isn't going to change. It's always going to be 60, right? Then we're going to set the minutes variable. So local minutes, we're going to leave that as is. We're going to set it when we get into the while loop. So we can skip a couple more lines. Then we're going to say while round time, make sure you do round time, not round started, is greater than zero, do minutes is equal to math.floor round time divide that by 60 right because remember we, because remember 60 seconds in a minute wait yeah six, 60 seconds in a minute right so we're going to divide that by 60 and then moving on to the seconds so seconds is equal to round time then we're going to use the percentage of 60 right the percentage sign right or percent sign whatever you want to call it then we're going to skip like about two more lines and we're going to set the text right so we're going to do round gui dot round text label dot text is equal to quotation marks time left colon space then we're going to say dot dot string dot format make sure you guys type this correctly because you know you could easily mess up on this so percent sign zero two d i believe yeah zero two d Right, make sure you put quotation marks around these. Quotation marks 02D. Then you're gonna put a comma right here. And then you're going to say minutes, right? Or put minutes. Then dot dot. You're gonna use quotation marks again, put a colon to separate it. Then you're gonna say dot dot string dot format. Then we're going to literally do the same thing, but just with seconds. So to make it easier, we can really just copy and paste this. So you can really just copy and paste this inside here. So control C, then control V, change minutes to seconds in the second one. Then skip up more lines and we're gonna say round time, right? Is equal to round time minus one. Then we're gonna have a wait one second, right? Make sure you put a wait. You can change however long. I mean, I would understand why you would change it, but if you do wanna change it, just make sure you have a wait because if you don't, you, the game is going to crash because you need to have a wait in a while loop. And then lastly, we're going to go out on the outside of the function and we're going to like this entire, or I'm sorry, this entire if statement. And then we're going to say round started is equal to false. Pretty much when the while loop has finished, it'll then get to this because the way while loops run, it'll continue running this code until the while loop is done. So when it, so when the while loop has finished, it will then go on to this. So it'll set the round started value equal to false. And then it pretty much will, it pretty much will just continue, just continue onwards, continue onwards, just again, right? So that wait, actually, oh, I just realized, am I literally just realized over recording? It would only trigger this if a, uh, oh, I just realized. Oh, okay, all right, simple fix, simple fix. I just realized over recording this that it would only trigger it if, yeah, it would only trigger it if. Okay, it would only trigger it if a player joined. Oh, simple. We're gonna go up here and create a local function. So local function, say round restart, call it that, right? Then press enter. And simply we can really just, we can really just do, we can just copy this, yeah, just copy all this, right? Just copy all of this and put it there, boom. And then of course you need to send over the player. So pretty much when it's finished, we're going to trigger, we're going to trigger the function, uh, the round restart. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna say round, oh no, round restart, trigger the function. I'm gonna send over the player. Where's the player at? It's right there. Trigger and send over the player. Oh, why is not? Wait, is it cause it's on? Oh, okay, I see it now. Let me go right here. 
and send over that is so weird i don't know why it's doing that oh wait i think it might be because of this new player and then i wonder if it'll work now no it's still not work that's so weird i don't know why it's not is it working right here so i don't know why it's that's weird well we're just gonna type it anyway so you want to go right here right right after the round started put player then we need to also send over actually no yeah actually no never mind yeah that's really all we need we just really just need the player for all so we'll send over the player and then once we have the player i might have added an extra end yeah okay i had an extra end and then from there we should be good so pretty much upon a player joining it'll trigger the function and stuff right and then once it's finished it will trigger the round restart function right it'll trigger it one time and then it will do this and then once it's done round start it will equal, equal false and then it'll just run in a continuous loop pretty much and then you would just you really just paste this yeah you really just, just trigger it you just trigger the function inside the function so yeah the so same thing so yeah let's go ahead and press play i'm obviously not going to sit here for the entire thing because yeah it's like three minutes long but anyway we'll just see it real quick okay so round starts at 10 9 8 5 4 3 2 1 boom we died and time left and now it's coming down from three sec i mean three minutes boom that's how you make a simple round system Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if there are any bugs. If there are any bugs, let me know in the comment section. I will rewrite the script or whatever, and I will paste the entire script. Because that's, because yeah, if it's my fault, then I got y'all and stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.